All right, got temperatures right now into the upper 50s, and we are hitting our peak just under the seasonal norms for this time of the year. Well, we made a quick turnaround as expected with that stormy weather we had yesterday and early this morning. Now we have dry weather with light winds out of the northwest at eight miles an hour, and we're expecting to see some warmer numbers coming through here for the rest of this week on our way to the weekend. Right now, 47 in Jackson. We've got 59 for Rexburg and Idaho Falls, 60 currently for Pocatello in the mid 60s towards Boise with the upper 50s in Salmon. The area of low pressure that's been with us since yesterday, now it's moving off towards Colorado. It's delivering rain and snow there in the front range of the Rockies, and that low is going to continue to swing off towards areas of North Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas by tomorrow. High pressure working in here from California and the West Coast, and that's going to deliver those warmer temperatures. And tomorrow, we actually crest above the normal high. We haven't been above that bar for quite some time, and we are expecting to see numbers now increasing on our way into the weekend. Overnight lows still getting pretty frosty with lows getting back into the mid to lower 30s. So it gets cold at night and for the early morning hours. That high continuing to strengthen along the west coast for tomorrow. But I want to draw your attention up here to North Idaho, Montana, and Southern Canada. There's a system that's going to wrap in around this ridge of high pressure and it's going to swing in with its tail on Thursday. So we're not taking a direct hit, but we are going to get whipped with the cold front tail as the system rolls off to towards the Dakotas. Now this happens Thursday morning. As we get to Thursday afternoon, yes, there's some moisture coming in in the wake of that front, especially in areas of western Wyoming and far eastern Idaho. So for our viewers in Driggs, in Victor, Swan Valley, Alpine, Jackson, and through the Star Valley, we're going to be dealing with some wet weather. For the rest of us, though, it's going to be very windy for Thursday as the system rolls off to the east. Then everybody welcoming in this high-pressure ridge, and we are warming things up by this Saturday and Sunday. A look at those wind speeds here for tonight and tomorrow. Not bad. Winds are staying fairly low in speeds. We're going to keep it about 5 to 10 on average, occasionally gusting up to 15, but nothing crazy. But things really get crazy for Thursday. Thursday as we have the front again sliding in from the north and from the mountains to the valleys we're dealing with gusty conditions. Now with the dropping temperatures tonight we've had some melting of course and we've been seeing a bit of some rain over the past uh, 24 hours. We have the possibility of getting some fog developing later tonight. So I'm just throwing it out there. It's not a huge risk but areas of fog tonight through tomorrow morning. Then we're going to have our temperatures back into the 60s tomorrow afternoon. Then we are expecting to see windy conditions with a few rounds of wet weather for Thursday. Highs aiming for the upper 50s for McCammon and Preston tomorrow, lower 60s in Millette, and still stuck in the 40s for Soda and Montpelier and Star Valley, with 56 for Rexburg, 48 for Driggs and Teton Valley, and 53 in Jackson. Temperatures are slowly climbing upward as we head into the Saturday and Sunday as you check out the eight-day forecast. We got 53 for Thursday in Jackson, mid-50s for Friday, and the 60s for Saturday and Sunday, with plenty of sunshine to get us through the weekend, and we're looking to hold on to those numbers through next week as well, with a few isolated showers threats coming in for next week. Rexburg, windy weather on Thursday with highs still pushing to the upper 50s and we're back to the 60s this Saturday with the low 70s by Sunday. Moving over to central Idaho, Salmon's going to be at 63 and Chalice the same with 53 for Mackey. Arco's going to clock in around 54 tomorrow with lows around freezing tonight. In that Salmon extended forecast, mainly sunny for Thursday and Friday with highs in the upper 60s for Friday afternoon, upper 70s for Saturday with partly cloudy skies Sunday, Monday and Tuesday for next week, but temperatures well getting into those 70s for this weekend and beyond. 66 for Aberdeen tomorrow with a 62 in Idaho Falls, and we got 64 in Pocatello, close to 70 tomorrow for Burley. Checking out that Blackfoot eight-day forecast, temperatures climbing as we head to the mid-60s for Thursday. We got the 70s by this Saturday, and we're pushing into the mid to upper 70s by this Sunday. Pocatello, 67 degrees for Thursday. Check this out. For Pocatello, by the weekend on Sunday, we're aiming those temps close to 80, and it looks like that's going to continue for the early half of next week, with highs still in the upper 70s for Monday. Idaho Falls, not as warm as Pocatello, but still getting up there, with highs around 63 for Thursday, some gusty winds. The winds will calm down for Friday and Saturday, moving into the weekend with numbers near 70 for Saturday afternoon, and we should be well into those 70s for Sunday with plentiful sunshine all weekend long and clear skies overnight with lows dipping back to the upper 30s. Eric. All right, thanks, Michael. Coming up in sports.